Our first responders are expected to be just as mentally fit as they are physically, but in a field where they're pushed to the limits of post-traumatic stress, who's looking out for their mental health? Without a safety net, many of our first responders will face early retirement, termination, or even suicide. Lawmakers here in Kentucky are hoping to change that with a new approach to mental injury on the job. Anybody that is doing that job out there is going to see and experience some really rough things. I remember seeing a man with a gun. I saw the muzzle flash from his gun. I'm immediately my legs went numb. At first it's an adrenaline rush and you know you're just doing what you're trained to do but afterwards you get that emotional dump and it's like realize what just happened and what could have happened. It's a daily struggle. There's nights you don't sleep because of things you've seen. Do you bury the nightmares? You try not to dwell on what you see, what you experience. Or talk about them. We need to have a safety net. Right now, Kentucky law does not recognize a psychological injury the same as a physical one. It is a very real thing. That's where Representative Joni Jenkins from Kentucky's 44th District comes in. We know that folks that have PTSD or past traumas, their physical health isn't as well, they can be hypervigilant, and it affects their jobs as first responders. For the second year now, Jenkins introduced a bill which would redefine injury when it comes to workers' comp, adding mental injury for first responders. I certainly would love for a day when no one would ever have to use this, but we know horrible things happen. She realizes budgets are tight. Certainly, local governments are always concerned about cost, and my answer to that is when we do things preventively, we usually save money in the long run. Psychologist Dr. Mike Freville works exclusively with the Louisville Metro Police Department. Focus now is on prevention. It's his job to support officers who've witnessed traumas, some resulting in severe PTSD. In my experience, the vast majority are able to rebuild. He's their safety net. It is okay to reach out for help. But not every department has one, and for different reasons. It's not just a financial commitment, it is a attitude commitment, and it starts at the top. If the top man or woman in any department doesn't have it in their mind that this is real, we're not going to ignore it, then nothing will happen. If we're going to demand the best, then we have to give them the best service and support. If this is an important issue to you, this is the time to call yeah. your legislator, both from the House and the Senate. It's House Bill 40, but as we've heard, it's really needing a lot more push. Right, and the, the deadline is coming because the session is short. If it doesn't get heard, then it may not get about passed. 16 more days left in this short session. Right. Joni Jenkins, again, the author of this bill, says you only need five to right. get it from committee to the governor's desk. But it's, again, a very short time frame. And Kentucky is just one of the states that's considering this. There have been other states that have had this debate and have gone on to pass it. Florida and Nebraska being two that we focus on in the next hour. There have been some great successes. There have been some roadblocks. So in the next hour, we're going to talk about that. But in the meantime, you can check it out online right now. Just go to whas11.com stressed. All right. Thanks so much. We'll uh, turn.